Photos that you take with your digital camera or cell phone can't be used in their native format for projects because they're not in the correct color mode, size, resolution, or file format to print correctly. So in this video, I'll focus in on what file format your photos should be in for print projects and show you how to convert your images to the TIFF file format. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. You know, when it comes to graphics, there are so many file formats. There's AI, PSD, SWF, PNG, PDF, JPEG, GIF, TIFF, whew! How do you keep them all straight? Well, now you don't have to because I've created the ultimate guide to graphic file formats that you can download for free at graphicsgirl.com. This way you'll know when to use each type. Just click the link below. TIFF. You'll also see this written as T-I-F-F, -F, as it stands for Tagged Image File Format. More useless information. But again, I stick to the three character file extension you see when you save out or export your files. Now TIFF is the file format you'll want to use for your print projects. TIFFs are the high resolution photos you'll pull into Illustrator or InDesign for use in print. And you'll also want to save them out as CMYK for printing on a four color press. This file format can retain layers and does not require compression when it's saved. Because it retains more of the file's information for printing, a TIFF's file size is larger. Because I've created the ultimate guide to graphic file formats, so you'll know when to use each type. Now you can use PSDs in layouts with other Adobe programs such as InDesign and Illustrator, but I choose to still save my photos out as TIFFs. And the reason I do this is as a failsafe for myself. In the event I make changes in my native Photoshop file that I may not want to update in my layout. When creating raster graphics in Photoshop, you can save multiple layers, paths, channels, etc. So you also can save elements that you may not even want to export in your final files. You just turn off those layers before saving. Hey, if you need Photoshop, click the link below and get a free trial for 30 days. So now that you know why you would want to use a TIFF file format, here's how you save out a TIFF from Photoshop. You come to File, Save As, and in the Format drop-down, you choose TIFF. Of course, you can always change the file name, but you'll see that it now has the three-character file extension of .tif. When you choose Save, the TIFF Options dialog box appears, and you'll see on the left-hand side that you have Image Compression Options. I would highly recommend choosing None here as you don't want to sacrifice any of the quality of your image. So TIFF file formats are generally larger. If you're on a PC, the IBM PC might be the default. I would save your TIFF out with the options that you see here. When you choose OK, now you can see that you're in the TIFF file format right up here. But note, you'll want to make sure that your file is converted to CMYK for use in print projects. And you'll want to ensure that your image has 300 dpi as its resolution. And don't forget to resample your image so all three, width, height, and resolution, are linked before you change your 72 to 300. I have a video just on resolution that you should check out. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave some comments below. Okay.
Okay. And don't forget, head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free marketing, branding, and design resources. I look forward to seeing you over there and helping you design your brand.